So a state-of-the-art vaccine manufacturing facility has been launched at Brackenfell in the Western Cape to help accelerate production in Africa. The initiative is a collaboration between the government and Nant SA, which is a division of Nant Works. It's the brainchild of South African-born billionaire and transplant surgeon Dr. Patrick Shun Xiong. Uh, Newsroom Africa's Atim Tungana was there. She found this report. A new era in pharmaceutical production is taking form in South Africa. That's how President Cyril Ramaphosa has described this 3 billion rand partnership between the government and NATSA, which is a multinational conglomerate founded by Dr. Patrick Sun Xiong. This state-of-the-art vaccine manufacturing campus that we are officially launching today is part of a far broader initiative to propel our continent, Africa, into a new era of health science. The establishment of Africa's access to advanced healthcare coalition is in itself a bold step to unite biotechnology and pharmaceutical companies government agencies, non-profit organizations, and academia. The work done at this facility will accelerate domestic production of pharmaceuticals, biologics, and vaccines for many diseases affecting the continent. He's already mentioned uh, the question of continuing to look at the possible vaccine against HIV. Uh, that work has been ongoing in the world, not just in South Africa, for many years. There has not yet been a breakthrough, but he is very uh, confident that with the technology which they are using, that, that is possible, uh, a vaccine against the tuberculosis, that will be a major advancement. And of course, he's al already researching on various uh, vaccines also against uh, cancer, uh, including cancer of the cervix, as he has mentioned, cancers which are more dominant in, the, in South Africa and in the African continent. This vaccine manufacturing campus is said to benefit close to 400 South Africans in employment opportunities. It is also expected to produce about 1 billion doses of COVID-19 vaccines by 2025. Nationally, pharmaceutical and medical devices market is estimated at 62.7 billion rand and 19.7 billion rand respectively in 2020 and is expected to grow to 90.4 billion rand and 29.6 billion rand respectively by 2025. It's a catalyst that's going to move a whole lot of other investments coming. So, yeah, I think what's the space? It's going to, it's going to move us. And I, I think, I mean, if I think about the, the university students who are giving, getting opportunity here for bursaries and our universities themselves, now suddenly, you know, you're really good in your game. You can actually stay here and produce what you actually want to dream about instead of going somewhere else to do it. The support of the Shan Shun Shaiong Family Foundation, Institutes for Infectious Disease and Cancer Centers of Excellence, will be established at University of Cape Town, the University of Witwatersrand, and the Shan Shun Shaiong Center for Epidemic Response and Innovation at the University of Stellenbosch. Through this initiative, the president says the burden of disease across Africa, as well as vaccine apartheid, will be alleviated. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Atim Tongana in Cape Town.